Hi, Yarn and Bees. It's Sandy. Hi. Okay, here's a question for you. I did a Zoom yesterday, uh, not recorded, with um, a few of my fellow YouTube creators yesterday morning, I think it was, yeah. And we were talking about something. I, I put a question out to them. So I want to know what you guys think about this. In this COVID thing, right, are you guys having a hard time finding content for your videos? <laughs> I'm, I'm scrambling trying to figure out what I should talk about. And, um, you know, so I've just kind of thrown a mismatch of stuff together for today. So... <clears throat> yeah, so the question of the day. What's in my cup? Coffee. <laughs> in my Nanaimo BC mug. Isn't that cute? I should have, <clears throat> excuse me, I should have grabbed one of these and uh, sent it up to Laura, Mad Mimi. But at the time when I got this mug, I didn't know she loved moose. Okay, so yesterday, yes, yesterday, George came home from the post office with a envelope. And I know who this is from. <laughs> so you got the bunny rabbits and got a chickadee. I've been seeing these floating around on YouTube. And it's from our lovely Petra. Uh, and I'm just so thrilled. Uh, so we're going to open it right now. Oh, I guess I should say it's from Petra. Petra's Happy Place. <laughs> I'll put her link down below. This is, it's an Easter card. Isn't that pretty? Oh. oh, thank you so much, Petra. Mm, much love to you, sweetheart. I, you know what? I, I haven't gotten any cards of any kind out lately. And it's not just because of COVID. It's just, um, I don't know. I haven't been feeling the, the holidays, you know, like, like um, St. Patrick's Day and Easter and you know all that. I just I'm not, I don't know why. You know maybe maybe it is the COVID thing. Maybe it's just I don't know. Are you guys feeling depressed? Are you guys feeling like the? You know every day it's a struggle just to get out of my pajamas. Yeah, I'm half pajama, half t-shirt day. <laughs> I try to look, you know, look like I'm clothed from this part up anyway. So, <clears throat> anyway. Okay, um, let's start with this. I don't know if you guys have seen Rosalie from Yarn It Out's video. And if you haven't, you should go check her out. I'll leave her link down below too. She was talking about these gloves that for crocheters and knitters helps with pain and um, I I had to buy some because my hands especially now because we're at home all the time and we're crocheting well that's just a total crap sentence because we're always at home crocheting <laughs> um, anyway I I decided I was going to go and get some of these because I, my hands just hurt so much all the time. And you can only put so much hot, cold stuff on your hands and, and everything. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try these out. The neat thing about these, <clears throat> excuse me, is that they have these ribs on them. And underneath these ribs is copper wire. And copper helps with inflammation and pain and all that kind of stuff. So... Um, 
as soon as I put them on, it was like, it, oh, it feels so good. Don't you start. <coughs> Bailey. Sorry about that. Bailey had to make a comment. Um, but they just felt so good on. And the only problem is it's hard to crochet with them. One, number one, this is rubber. It's sticky rubber. So your hook kind of gets stuck to your hand. But, um, and I also find that the tightness of the gloves makes it kind of hard to, to crochet. So I can't, actually wear them when I'm crocheting but when I take when I stop crocheting then I can take them off and they just it feels so take them off I can when I stop crocheting I can put them on <laughs> wow okay maybe I need some you know Kahlua or something in my coffee today I don't know <laughs> anyway these are awesome so if you live in Canada I will put a link down below for Amazon for these gloves. If you live in the States, go on over to Rosalie's uh, channel. She has a link for the gloves and, uh, and go check them out because, and oh, and another thing, when you're doing the sizing, they give you a size chart, but I always thought that I was a small because I have small hands. These are medium. So, Whatever you think you are, go up a size because uh, they are very, they're made very small. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I am working on a tutorial for a um, cardigan. I tried five times to do this tutorial and I had to delete it five times because Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Dark dog started barking. George started slamming things around. You know, like it just, it was one thing after another and I was so frustrated I had to just stop. So I'm gonna try again today and see if I can get it done. But this is the one half of the cardigan. <clears throat> okay. And, um, isn't that pretty? <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me I am going to try and get this done today and get this uploaded um what else I have been working on Rosie M's sweater um from um oh wow I can't believe that I'm just like so not words aren't coming to me known as stitching lounge there we go uh she put out a tutorial for a men's sweater so here i am thinking hey i can i can do this Ooh. <laughs> rosie is a wonderful teacher her pattern is awesome it's me I'm having an issue because I've never made a pullover sweater before. So um, the the whole yoke part of the sweater, um, because it's a front post and then a double crochet and a front post double crochet. Number one, I'm using my yarn she used. I think she used a four weight yarn. I'm using a five weight. First mistake. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, so mine is like really, really heavy <laughs> and the yoke took me forever to do. So this part's not done yet and it's rolling up, see, so it's, but it's, it's going to be really nice and warm, that's for sure. <clears throat> but this is how much I've gotten done and I've been working on this for about a week <laughs> so I have to put it down for a little bit and then pick it up and you know do a few more rows and then put it down so <clears throat> I'm sure that <clears throat> excuse me wow I've just got this throat thing just <clears throat> <clears throat> I think it's the coffee creamer I'm using yeah, I'm lactose intolerant, so I shouldn't be using coffee creamer. But anyway, 
Um, I'm sure that if you guys do this tutorial, you will have a much easier time doing it because, uh, you know, <laughs> you're not me. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's going to be nice when it's finished. <clears throat> but because this is rolling up so badly while I'm using it, or while I'm um, working on it, it was driving me crazy. So what I did was I ordered on Amazon a steamer. My thought is if I steam it and let it sit, and I guess it's kind of like blocking, uh, that maybe I will get rid of this roll. I don't know. Rosie, let me know if this is a good idea before I even do it. I haven't taken this out of the box yet. <clears throat> it's, I used to have a steamer years ago. I had a clothing business, an online or a, a traveling clothesline business. So. pretty skookum looking look at that and there's the water you put the water in there yeah that's pretty pretty skookum huh interesting so anyways I was thinking about trying that and it's even got like a little brush one it's got bristles and then it's got another one to take lint off well that's cool so and that comes with, oh, I guess this is a handle of some sort. Anyway, um, so I was thinking about doing that. So I need to know, is that is that a good idea? Because I don't want to mess this up. There's a lot of work put into this, and I really don't want to screw it up by doing something that I think is a good idea and finding out after oh shoot sorry Bailey <laughs> dog crashing dog um you know I'm finding out that it really wasn't a good idea and then I've ruined what I've done so let me know okay another thing is I found these at our Dollarama so I guess maybe other dollar stores would have them they're zipper seal bags and these are extra, extra large. And I tell ya, they are fantastic. Look how big this is. Right? And it's like, it's all zipper, zippered. And they're really, um, they're really strong bags. So I thought these would be great for, um, when I do, when I, um, well, number one, to keep my yarn in, <clears throat> have bags all over the house. <laughs> uh, but the other thing is, is when I'm doing giveaways and stuff, I'm going to put the yarn in here so that you don't have to worry about any contamination or anything like that. Now, if any of you have seen Sandy from Left is Right's video, <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> when she opened the blanket that I gave her. Oh my God. What I did was I took the, I put the blanket in the dryer, dried it, took it out, folded it, put it in the bag and shipped it off. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> I should have let the blanket cool down before I put it in the bag because I put it in one of these bags and the heat from the blanket did condensation in the bag and when she got it it was damp oh I felt like an idiot so it's one of those things you know you you just you think it's a good idea and it wasn't a good idea but that's okay because all she did was put it over a chair, let it air out, it dried, and everything was golden. But 
I, I was just like, wow. I, I can't believe something like that. You just kind of, it just goes whoop and you don't even think about it, right? So food for thought. <laughs> don't put warm stuff in a plastic bag because you get condensation. <laughs> Another thing is, is that I didn't tell you guys when I did my one video about the end date for the Soho yarn giveaway. Uh, telling you, brain just isn't working in all of this. So guess what? We're going to do it today. <laughs> yes, we are. I've been watching com the comments and the com there isn't very many comments for that video anymore. So I figured now is a good time to do the giveaway draw. Okay, so let's go do that now. Okay, everybody, here we are on the random comment picker. I have my URL in there. I have the word Soho. And let's get the comments. There was 76 unique comments. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Are you sure you're ready? Okay, and go. Karen McMillan, you are the winner. Woo! All right. It says, Sandy, I love your videos, and I would love to make a blanket for the Snowball Express. Yes, please do that. Uh, I already have some blank baby blanket that I would love to donate. I would love to try the Soho yarn. Thank you. You are so welcome, Karen. You get the Soho, and it is right over there and it's just waiting for you <laughs> okay so there you go Karen congratulations and email me at crochet.com and we will get it out to you okay Karen is the winner of the YouTube random picker Karen is the winner yeah she gets the Soho yarn Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me in, and, you know, putting your comments in for the draw. And don't worry if you didn't win. I have some other stuff going on that I'm thinking I'm going to be doing pretty soon. You know, just to help this whole COVID thing along, you know, make it interesting. Mm -hmm. So, Karen, email me. Here's my email. Okay, <laughs> give me your address and I will send this out to you. Okay, yay, that is so awesome. Woohoo! Talking about giveaways, I am going to be doing another giveaway, not today, um, but I will be doing one soon because um, I bought this a while back. And I thought I was going to use it, but I didn't. And the reason for this, here I'll show you what it is. You guys are going to be excited. Ooh, what? What? Yes. Yes. What? I am giving away a Swift. A Swift? Swift. Swift. Swiffer. Swift. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm giving this away. It's brand new. Uh, but I can't use it. And the reason for that is because I found out that the majority of Hanks out there are wool. And I can't use wool. And I haven't been able to find Hanks of acrylic yet. Like hand dyed acrylic. I just can't seem to find any. So, instead of it sitting here uh, doing nothing, I would like to give it to somebody who's going to use it. So, if you can use wool and you can buy Hanks, um, 
this giveaway will be for you. But like I said, it's not going to be today. I will announce when uh, when this giveaway is going to happen. Okay. Um, <clears throat> probably not for next week, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then I got to figure out how to ship it. <laughs> so there's that. <clears throat> anyway, so that's going to be exciting. Yay. Uh, okay. Anything else? I don't know. Oh, um, I am going to start doing, um, zooms, but, uh, I don't know when. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a regular thing or if it's just going to be a pop up and say, Hey, come on, let's zoom. Uh, cause there's so many creators that are doing either zooms or lives or stream yards or stuff like that, that, um, you can't really pinpoint one specific time or day to do it. So it may end up just being a pop up saying, you know, Hey, you know, come join me. My Zoom number is down in the description box. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to end up just putting out a message on my community page and just to say, hey, this is happening. Okay? Because um, <clears throat> I had so much fun doing it. So, uh, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about doing some collabs, I guess with some creators and doing a zoom together and recording it and having like a, a list of things that we talk about crochet related or whatever. Uh, and see how it goes. I think it would be fun. <laughs> so anyways, you know, like a guest star, you know, like guest star on crochet. A. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. Okay. So congratulations, Karen. Uh, and, um, keep an eye out for the next week. Okay. And, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Okay. I will talk to you then. Bye. <laughs>